So I like to use Adobe Illustrator to il um, make illustrations. Um, I want to be a children's book author illustrator and um, I'm not too big of a fan of drawing things on paper by hand, but I do love to use um, the Adobe programs, especially um, Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, and so to give you an example of some of the stuff that you can do, I'm going to choose the pen tool um, so that your shortcut's going to be P. Um, and it's really important to learn shortcuts when you're using these programs. Um, it makes it much faster um, to switch between tools. So I've just got a new document open. I am using Adobe um, Illustrator CC 2014. Uh, but this is going to be the same for versions 5.5 um, and, and earlier. I've never used anything earlier than 5.5, so I uh, can't speak from experience if it's the same in there. So I'm just going to give an example. So let's say I want to draw an elephant. And this is going to be a little bit rough. Remember, this is just a tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the head and then the front legs. Um, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Drew it a little big. This is going to be a probably a funny looking elephant, but that's okay. We can put a tail later if we really want one. But if you messed up, you can just say um, Command Z. That'll undo. Oh, and then that's his um, trunk. I guess I didn't see that. I'm actually going to go back through and edit this a little bit because it is bothering me. So I'll move it over so we can see it a little better. So you're going to choose your direct selection tool. That's the white one. Just kind of adjust some of these points. Make them look a little bit more normal. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And let's change this. <laughs> this trunk looks very funny. That's okay, though. Okay. Um, and so then what I'm going to do is I want to add his ears. So I'm going to draw an ear here. That looks okay, I guess. I mean, not really. I would probably take longer if I wanted this to really look good. Uh, there's his back ear. It looks funny now, but you'll see what, um, that it doesn't really matter what the shape is. Oops, I'm going to do that over. Simple legs. Um, what you can do is that you're going to send these to the back um, so that they don't, uh, so that you can't see um, see that part of it. So I'm just going to select this, this, um, this one. And so you can either just hold down command and then use your bracket key. So your left bracket is going to send everything to the back. Your right bracket is going to send to the front. Or you can go to object and if you say arrange, just say send to back. And so as you can see, um, this is... Um, layered um, correctly, so then I'm just going to stick a tusk in here. Oh, and if you hit that again, you can make it sharp. Um, definitely learn how to use the pen tool. That's going to be really important. And I'm just going to copy this. So Command C, Command Shift V, and then move it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to send that back. Okay. Um, and then what you can do is you can start coloring stuff. So let's just choose gray. Uh, oops. I want to choose... Um, the, the fill, not the stroke. Let's see. Maybe a slightly darker, possibly a slightly darker for this. Let's see. That should be okay. Um, you can also use a lot of gradients and stuff. I love to use gradients. Um, one of my tricks is, so if you click, take this ear, for example, so say Command C, that'll copy it. Then Command Shift V, that's going to paste an identical one right on top of this. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over to my gradient panel. So I've got it open. So um, you can actually just use this gradient they give you. And so I'm going to say, so linear will work fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the white one right here. And let me move it up a little bit, it looks like. Um... Looks like it's off the screen, so I'm gonna move it up. So if you say opacity, so click on the white opacity, I'm gonna say zero. Um, and so then what it does is that, you'll notice it just gives some shading on this side of the ear. So that's one of my tricks for putting depth into um, these objects in um, Illustrator. Otherwise, you could bring all these over to Photoshop, but let's say you just wanna work in Illustrator. You can totally do that. You can totally add depth. And then if you wanted to, you could actually add um, another layer. So that's what that looks like. Um, but you could also add another layer on top. Let's say I want a little bit of a highlight here. So then you could say um, Command C, Command Shift V. And so you're gonna go back over to your gradient panel. Um, I'm gonna bring that white back up to 100. Oops, 100. Make the black zero. 
And so this won't make sense. It's a little, um, a little odd to do it like this maybe, but uh, I've got different ways of doing it. So then you can use the gradient tool. So let's see, it's over on here. It's called the gradient tool. Um, and so what you can do is you can pull it up like this. And so I'm going to actually adjust this, this right here. So that's how you can actually kind of get a little bit of a highlight just on the top of the ear. So that's, that's one of my tips. Um, I, lo I love, like I said, I love using um, uh, uh, Illustrator to make um, drawings. Um, and you could just continue like that. And you could also take the stroke away from that original um, piece if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, the basics of illustrating with Illustrator.